Can I play with Mui? Hi, Mui! Hi, Mui! Hey, baby! Okay, uh, so I went shopping. Because I needed to, like, I needed the living room to feel lighter and airier and summery. <laughs> Will you help me unload it? Sure. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at this poppers. You're such a lover, such a lover. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> It'll help you study better, to exercise. <laughs> Come on, help me. Mm. You really should buy a lot. <laughs> You're only gone for like an hour. I know, I can do a lot of damage in one hour. And I even got chatties and met some really cool people while I was there. So I got some really cool stuff. Let's take it inside and I'll show you what I got. I sent Haley back upstairs because it's finals week and she is so close to finishing 11th grade and I want her to finish well. So mm. a sip of coffee and let's look through all these bags because I totally went crazy and spent about a thousand dollars and I won't be keeping all of this <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> let's just say that at times I do this and I have a hard time returning a lot of it and sometimes I keep a lot of it just to be perfectly honest however I'm staging another house tomorrow so I needed a few things for that as well and I thought, well, wouldn't it be fun for you guys to see what happens when you spur of the moment decide to go to Pottery Barn and just raid the sale that's going on? Because right now they've got their really big Save More um, Memorial Day sale that's going on. So you can save a lot of money right now. So the thing is, is that you guys can actually get a better discount than my designer discount. So. Those of us that join as designers, we get a to the trade discount at Pottery Barn and a lot of these other retail stores. They run sales that are better than our discount. So I don't always use my card to buy things because, you know, the little trade to the trade card because it's better to just use the regular sale that's going on. So you can save some serious money if you want to. Um, you can save 25%, which is an awesome deal that's a quarter of the price taken off these things so it really does help um as you can see behind me <laughs> i've already started moving things around okay so i get in these moods these crazy little moods where i just need to move things around and it's been a whole what like i don't know two months since this room was completed and i finally got my black leather sofa and now, after all that, it's summer. And in fact, I'm actually hot. I'm gonna take my blazer off because it is 94 degrees Fahrenheit, of course, for those of you that judge temperature in Celsius, but 94 degrees is hot. That's almost, well, it's about 40 degrees in Celsius. So it's toasty. And I just need things to feel lighter and airier. I don't really want to sit on a leather sofa and feel hot in the middle of the summer. So this is the time of year when I tend to maybe throw a lighter quilt over the sofa. Um, I want to bring in wicker and beachy items. And I don't have the money to completely redo the room. I mean, that would be insane, right? That, that would be totally insane. Like nobody would do that, would they? I'm sure they would. Okay, so instead of changing out every single thing in the room, what I do is I take what I have and I manipulate it just a little bit. I might take a lamp from this other room and bring it in. I might grab my lighter books. I might turn them around. I'm gonna do these little tips and tricks and show you how I, for very little money, will go through a room and give it a new look. So um, not everything, I know like $1,000 per season would be a crazy amount of money, but I'm still building up my home from having sold everything when we left Copenhagen. So a lot of this stuff I had before and I wouldn't, I could have just gone and gotten it. Um, but a lot of you don't have all this stuff on hand either. So sometimes it's nice to see one or two things that you might want to add to your room that you already have. And I think that's kind of the fun of it is 
having some seasonal items that makes the room feel fresh and new and on season, but not cost a fortune. So let me show you what I got. So one of the first things I grabbed, I walked directly in the store and grabbed these really cool, they're like a, it's like a woven, I don't even have the price tag on it. Um, I had another one. They're woven, they're like a linen texture and they're really light and they're not scratchy. And I always buy pillows with the down in them because that's what makes it soft and cozy. This is one of the things that's supposed to be going for the other makeover. I'm gonna be doing a kitchen, so I needed a couple items because I've just staged another house and a lot of my stuff's over there, so I didn't have enough for this other one. So sometimes I'll just run out and grab a few more things. This little picture, I really liked this collection. It felt really farmhouse, but modern, but not, it didn't feel like this was something that was gonna go out of style. Oh my gosh, look at these awesome wood bowls. How cool are these? These were $29.50 a piece, so I know that's a little bit on the high end. However, I will say that all my wood bowls, I've had them for years, years. These are great for serving salad or nuts or using them on a dresser and having your jewelry inside of them. There's so many different things that you can use a wooden bowl for. This is timeless, it's classic. It's supposed to be going to the other staging job, but we'll see. I got a couple of these. I, I think they're so cute. Ooh, that looks really good on the table. Ha, we'll see what happens. I have this weird addiction to buying these really awesome big bowls. I love this one. I love this one. I see, I don't need this one, but the problem is, is that I put the ones that I spent $150 on, don't tell my husband that I spent that much on each of those. <laughs> but I put them in one of my houses that I have staged right now, and I don't wanna go and tear that apart just yet. Um, so I needed something to stage that other house, and I'm afraid that this one will end up staying here. This one, it's handmade in Portugal, and it has no price. Next we have a piece of coral, because of course it's summertime, and I love to have some coral. This one was $29.50. Now, I will say that the way that I use coral, I don't want my rooms to feel beachy necessarily. I want them to have like a collected feel, as though I've been to the beach, and I've been to the city, and I've been to everything in between. And so I don't just stage a room with just seashells. I actually keep things like this out year round. A lot of times I'll go through phases where I just get tired of looking at something and I'll stick it away or I'll use it in a staging job so it'll disappear for a little while. But something like this is pretty much eternal and you can keep this out through Christmas. It doesn't have to be seasonal. It really is just trying to create that collected, well-traveled look to your home. And I think that pieces like this are perfect. This could look really cute and kind of soften my really stark marble look. Um, and anytime you can add some texture into your space, it's definitely gonna be life altering for your spaces. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. This bowl is humongous. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one was not cheap. Don't tell my husband I spent $179. Not that he cares, I run my own budget, right? I'm a girl boss. I don't know why, <laughs> it's like <laughs> raised in the South. I don't know, like those things just stick with you. But uh, that is like an eternal piece. That is something that you can use so many different places. I was thinking that I would use this at the house I was going to stage, but of course I'm already looking around seeing where I can use it in here because this is so cool. Now, it could be used as a weapon if you can lift it when, you know, the robber comes in. You just grab it, <coughs> knock him out, but uh... Oh, it says you can use with pillar candles, but not, no wider than four inches. That's very specific. But either way, this thing for $179 weighs a thousand pounds and it's so cool and it may not leave my house because I love it. Oh, it would look good on my dining table too. What would you put in it? I just needed some basket in my life. 
can't go without it. I really like the Pottery Barn ones. Um, this one's $89, which is a little bit more than maybe what you would pay at Target, but I have found that the Pottery Barn ones just last longer. The Target ones tend to just fall apart and get little pills and things on them. So I think that these are definitely worth investing in, especially when you're getting the discount. Um, now, you guys don't make fun of me. I actually already own these. <laughs> I already own these. But they are at a different house. And you know what? I miss them. This is one of my all-time favorite things that I have ever bought at Pottery Barn. If you don't own these, go buy them. They are the most classic, versatile, home decor item you will ever buy. Now, the smaller one is $39.50. I think the bigger one was $59.50. With the discount, it gets the price down. And the thing about these is that they look really modern when you put something sculptural inside of them, like a bust or a cool African figurine, like a little wood carving. They look really soft and fresh when you put some florals inside of them. Um, you can put candles in there and remove the lid when you're gonna burn it. Uh, you could put a vase with flowers in it. What else? There's so many things. You could put seashells inside of this. There's so many different ways that you can use these. And what's so cool about them is you can put them with the wood and it gives like this really raw, like just texture to your space. But you can also, I do this all the time. I just take them out. I take the base out and just put these together with books and it gives this amazing modern feel. And the glass is nice and thick. I've moved them all over the place. I've used them in so many different houses, staging them in my own, and I just needed another set because that's how much I use these. If you don't have these, go buy them. You will not regret it. I also got this really cute blanket. This one was $59. I know that sometimes their blankets are a little bit on the higher end of their stuff is amazing. And I just fell in love with these cream and taupe stripes. How cute is this? If you wanna know one of the biggest stylist secrets, it's that these little tassels and things, it's not just about the way it seems in a photograph, it's also about the way that a room feels when you walk into it. And when something has this sort of texture on it, it has this sort of movement on it, your eye just feels it. You, it, it's like it touches you somewhere in your soul. That's all I can tell you is that it makes a difference. It makes a difference. It makes the space feel alive and this incredible texture. It's like a, it's like a linen kind of texture, a linen cotton. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. It feels good to sit on. It feels good to cozy up with when the air conditioning maybe gets a little too cold for me and everyone else in the room is hot. I'm sure none of you struggle with that. At least I had that other cushion in here. Um, this one was $49.50. The insert is $18. Normally I tell my clients, um, whether we're staging a house or they're decorating, to buy their inserts at Ikea or H&M Home because they're so cheap, always put down inside your pillows. It will always make them feel more, um, feel more expensive, but actually just feel better to touch because you can actually squish it and you can fluff it. So always have the down, but these are $18. And when you put the discount on top of that, it's about the same price as anywhere else. And I found that the Pottery Barn are just a little fluffier and a little bit fuller than anywhere else. And I have found that they tend to last longer. They just stay fuller longer. And some of the other ones like from Ikea, after a while, maybe they'll start to flatten out just a little bit. So while the discount is going, grab yourself some inserts and then do what I do when you're not staging houses with the rest of your inserts and just change out the covers.
felt seasonal for winter. It was stark and it was a little bit moody and maybe even just a little bit edgy. And now it's soft and it's still elegant, at least to me, I, I think it feels elegant. I think it feels elevated. It feels summery without feeling themey. And that's one of my biggest goals all the time when I create a space is I don't want it to feel like, okay, here's her seashell collection and there's the boats and everything in the room is too matchy matchy. I really want the space to feel like it just developed over time and the room should always feel like itself and it can just segue through the seasons. So I am completely in love with these softer pillows. I'm so excited. I feel like I gave myself the biggest gift. It's summer ready, it's soft, and I feel like this is the kind of room that you can sit in a white linen dress and sip sweet tea, and it's southern, and it's elegant, and I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. I will leave all the links below. I know that you guys are gonna to want to see some of these things and have the links so that you can buy a few of these items. It is pretty amazing. We didn't use every single thing out of the haul that I did, um, but those, there's an, I've got the other styling job that I'm doing uh, tomorrow, so you're gonna see the rest of those things go into that one. And yeah, a couple of those things might just linger around here as well because I really love them. But I hope that you have enjoyed everything that we did today. I hope that you've enjoyed and found some inspiration in this little mini makeover. And I'm looking forward to sharing so many new renovations and styling jobs that are coming up. We've got more listings on the horizon, so it's busy and it's wonderful and I love being able to share it all with you. Be sure to visit us at houseofvalentina.com. I'm gonna leave a link below and it will give you a link for all the items that we put into this space and then a few of the bigger items that some of you tend to ask for. Um, I'll try to put the paint colors in there too because you guys love to know what my paint colors are, which of course just totally makes my day. So. <laughs> I will see you guys very soon and have a great weekend. Bye.